Yeah, I wrote this a few years ago, I thought I'd share it. Who is Amrit? Consider me a seed planted in 1984 in a little village, Punjab, India. But the climate wasn't good for a seed like me. Too young to ask the government to please like me. And so many other seeds couldn't breathe like me, but a bird flew so many overseas like me. And even though my skin does say I'm built for warm weather, the warmth I get from freedom to discover is much better. The freedom to believe, to achieve, and live fair. And the freedom just to breathe this crisp Canadian air. Slow down, take a breath, it's right there. And now I'm here, 32 years, shedding all my fears, studying the art of self-understanding with my peers, <clears throat> surrounded by enlightening ones, sharing in the awe, learning how to harmonize with everything and all. Some give us a stage to share our works with the others, and some of you even embrace me after shows and call me brother, and honestly, I love it, each and every moment of it, especially when my parents say they're proud, man, that just does it. But I'm also learning happiness shouldn't be conditional. Then again, I'm kind of crazy, maybe somewhat unconventional. I've been through my lows, so low. At times I felt so alone, so low. One time I even cut my wrist. Maybe I heard too, one too many go homes. Maybe that's what sent me inward, looking for my home. They told me Canada wasn't it, and we left India to roam. Twelve years old, a Sikh being called Hindu, stuck somewhere in limbo, trying to find a sense of self. That shit wasn't simple. But now I'm here. And after all, the growing pains and tears might make us suffer, hopefully only making us wiser and tougher. So this is who I am for now. Arrive and then depart. And I can only hope till then that I live from the heart. Thanks.